Hello everyone, this is Rukshika Rajkuma from Arduino Physics by R and today I'm going to demonstrate you how this keypad matrix works with this RGB LEDs. For this project you'll be needing an Arduino Uno, 4x4 keypad matrix, 3 common anode RGB LEDs, 9 220 ohm resistors, solderless breadboard and some jumper wires. Now let me explain you how this works. This RGB LED will be controlled by this button and the second RGB LED will be controlled by this button. This button will be controlling the third RGB LED. When you press A, it's going to control the red pin of the RGB LEDs. B will be controlling the green pin and C will be controlling the blue pin. When you press 0, all LEDs will be turned off. When you press 1 and when you press A, this RGB LED will turn red. When you press B, the RGB LED will turn orange as a result of the combination of green and red LEDs. When you press C, it's going to turn white as a result of the combination of red, green and blue lights. The 4x4 keypad matrix has 8 ports. The first 4 ports will be for the rows and the next 4 ports will be for the column. To learn how a 4x4 keypad matrix works with Arduino, please visit my blog. The link can be found in the description below. You can also see how I did this project and you can also get the explanation of the codes. Now let me explain you the connections. Row number 1 is connected to D9, row number 2 is connected to D8, row number 3 is connected to D7, row number 4 is connected to D6, column number 1 is connected to D5, column number 2 is connected to D4, column number 3 is connected to D3 and column number 4 is connected to D2. The red pin of the first RGB LED is connected to D1. The green pin of the first RGB LED is connected to D10. The blue pin of the first RGB LED is connected to D11. The red pin of the second L RGB LED is connected to D12. The green pin of the second RGB LED is connected to A0. The blue pin of the second RGB LED is connected to A1. The red pin of the final RGB LED is connected to A2. The green pin of the final RGB LED is connected to A3. The blue pin of the final RGB LED is connected to A4. Now let me show you how this works. I'm going to turn on the first RGB LED so let me press 1 and now I'm going to press A to turn on the red light, B to turn on the green light and C to turn on the blue light. Now you can see that the first RGB is lit as white due to the combination of all red, blue and green colors. Now let me turn on the green light of the second RGB LED and now the blue Now let me turn on red Now you can see both LEDs are lit as white Now let me turn off the red light So I'm going to press A again Because 1 and 2 are pressed both these LEDs will be controlled at the same time 
when you press A, B, or C. Now I'm going to turn off the green light. So I'm going to press B. And now you can see that it's lit as blue. And now let me switch off the blue light as well. And I'm going to press 3 so that I can have control of the third LED. Okay, now I'm going to switch on all the lights. The first RGB LED is lit white. The second RGB lit LED is lit as cyan blue due to the combination of green and blue lights. And the final LED is lit as blue. I'm gonna turn all the LEDs off, so I'm going to press zero. Thanks for watching. Follow my blog and subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay updated with the latest projects and tutorials. Don't forget to comment, like and share.